Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards are predicting for you for today. It is going to be a general love message, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section below. Otherwise, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. So what is it that you need to know? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords here flipped over. Okay, this is interesting, but for a lot of you, I feel like the Ten of Swords here does depict uh, an act of betrayal. So for some of you, I feel like you're, there is some sort of upcoming act of betrayal that is really going to feel you, um, that's going to leave you feeling really emotionally upset here at the overall situation, okay? Um, some of you maybe have already been betrayed or backstabbed by someone very close to you, a close connecting energy, and you did not expect this. You did not see this coming. This can also like signify hitting emotionally rock bottom. Um, you know, you, you feel like there's nowhere to go from here. It feels like you're the victim though of someone's deceit, someone's backstab backstabbing, sorry, someone's betrayal. It's deep wounds. It's betrayal. It's a loss, a crisis, a pay painful ending here okay um there is going to be a sense of calm and peace that is going to be found from this situation so if you're already dealing with this okay things will get better you will heal from this especially indicated by the star card here for others of you i feel like this is something that's uh coming here it's going to come out of the blue it feels like it's going to rock your world here but it does mark a painful um, ending to and a painful volatile ending to a connection here so a relationship may come to abrupt end you could suddenly cut ties with someone it could be that like a contract may even be broken it's something that I feel like comes out of the blue not expected but it has happened or it will happen and it's definitely going to leave you feeling like your world has crumbled around you here you're definitely going to, it's like that emotional rock bottom here that I'm seeing for you. You're going to be grieving some sort of hurt, um, a very shocking loss here. And if you're ever, and you're going to be wondering if you're ever going to love again or if you're ever going to even trust again. Because to me, it feels like you being on the receiving end of this possibly, it feels like you're the victim of this person's betrayal or deceit. And you feel like you've been stabbed in the back and this is you um, reeling from someone else's actions here. So a partner may have cheated on you, They're, um, someone who may have betrayed your trust. The pain that's inflicted upon you feels like it runs really deep because not only what they've done is hurtful here, but I feel like it also marks the ending. So there's no going back from this is what I'm seeing. It's like, even if you were to go back to this, a lot of you are like, you can't give a second chance to this person because, you know, a liar or a cheater cannot be trusted, a person who has broken so much of your trust they just can't possibly do anything to repair that so this is why i feel like you're grieving the loss of something here okay you cannot change their actions though so if this hasn't happened yet i don't think there's anything you do there's anything you can do to change their actions here but it feels like you may be potentially hurt and betrayed here in the process okay it's the Ten of Swords, in a way, is about letting go and just accepting those uh, current circumstances. Okay, so yes, it's going to hurt you, but it's all about facilitating change and renewal, healing as well. It does mark a final ordeal, though, with the Ten of Swords. It feels like something comes to an end, but it also feels like there's no more pain that will come from that source, from that person, from that energy or that situation. So it's like... This ordeal, this pain is not going to last forever, okay? You will pick yourself up 
from the ground and you will reflect on what happened you will heal from it and you will learn from that experience here and that hurt that pain is going to fade over time here I feel like whoever has betrayed you okay or whoever has broken your trust here deceived you I feel like this person is still they're still trying to make an effort to either stay in contact with you they could be watching your like instagram stories they could be watching you on social media they could be trying to um they could be like find, trying to find out about you as well through friends i feel like this person even if the, they, they do regret it i feel like there is regret in their energy um and i feel like this act of betrayal here i feel like it's influenced by some sort of pain because to me it feels like there is pain in the their energy that they're projecting onto you and the reason why the both of you have ended up in this harmful situation is a you know direct result of that projection of pain that they feel out inwardly projected outwardly to me it just feels like this pain that you're experiencing from this hurt or this betrayal there's value in it and this pain will be useful to you someday whether it's going to inspire healing whether it's going to you know bring other emotional traumas or pain to the surface and allow you to confront and you know be able to heal that as well um, it could also be uh, I've mentioned there's value in that because in a way I feel like for some of you you'll see that this is going to maybe put you onto a path where who, who are you coming together here to share your insight and share your stories with it could inspire some creative outlet some wonderful uh, work of uh, art in the future, whether through music, um, poetry, film, photography, video, videography here. Okay, but it feels like you're contributing here by sharing. So there's value in the pain, there's value in the lessons here that will come from this hurt and come from this pain. Okay, so this to me, these two cards tell me that you can't control the, you can't control someone's actions, you can't control the power of the universe here, but you can definitely try and grow your understanding of, um, you know, your lessons here, the lessons and the lessons learned here. Everything is going to work out. In the end, everything will work out according to divine intervention, divine timing here. It represents the wheel of fortune here, it could also represent your anxiety or distress here. That you might feel when you feel as though things haven't gone according to plan. Um, change is coming for you. You have to know there is changes that is coming for you here. And it feels like the Wheel of Fortune here is spinning a very different destiny than what you had for yourself. But it feels like it's something bigger and better as well. I'm also getting the message that moving on, whether it's moving on from this relationship, moving on from the pain and the hurt this relationship caused you, but moving on is going to help you get back on track, help you get back on your course and lead you down a much more pleasant um, path, okay? The other message that I get, it's time now for you to spin that wheel of fortune and basically take a chance here on something that you've been holding out on. Okay, because for some of you I feel like there's something you've been holding out on, but now's the time for you to spin that wheel and take that chance, because I feel like things will work out very favorably for you. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.